Okay, we finally got into my favorite of these. I don't know why it's my favorite. I don't know why I even have a favorite. But it's the elimination method. So they'll give us two equations. And what we're, our goal is, is to get rid of one of the variables. And I'll show you what I mean. 2x, negative 2x minus y equals negative 6. 2x plus 4y equals negative 12. There's the two equations, and we can actually combine these. We can just add them together. So if we add a negative 2 to a positive 2, we get a 0. Then we get 4 minus y is 3y. 4y minus y is 3y. Negative 12 plus negative 6 gives us negative 18. And then we divide by 3 divide by 3, and negative 18 divided by 3 is y equals negative 6. Okay, so we've got our y. Remember, we're looking for a coordinate. We're looking for an x comma y. And we've got our y. y is negative 6. So then how do we find x? Well, we take that y, this, this y we found, and just input it back into one of these. So I'm going to get rid of all that and just leave one equation right there and take that y, negative 6, put it in here. So negative 2x minus a negative 6 equals negative 6. So I'm going to, let's see, minus 6 minus 6 gives me negative 2x equals negative 12, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and I get negative 12 divided by negative 2 is positive 6. So I get 6 comma negative 6. And I'm going to scroll down to confirm that I am correct, and I am correct. All right. Okay, now we've got negative x plus y equals 5, and we've got x minus y equals negative 5. If we combine, we just add, negative x plus x is 0. y minus y is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we've got 0 plus 0 equals 0, which is a true statement. 0 does, in fact, equal 0. And if it's a true statement at the end, then it's infinitely many solutions. Don't forget that. Infinitely many. If zero equals zero, if a number equals itself, infinitely many.